Hi everyone, today I want to go through a pre-made first aid kit that I purchased. I'm going to go through the original contents of the kit and show you things that I'm going to add and some things that I will be removing. The intent of this kit is to keep in my car or to grab and go in case of an emergency. It's not intended to be all of my medical supplies. This is what the kit looks like without any modifications. It's a nice bag and it's sectioned off into three different parts. In the bottom compartment, we start off with four sterile eye pads, five sterile dressing gauze pads, and those are three by three inches, and four of the sterile gauze pads, two by two inches four dressing bandages, and 10 non-adherent sterile pads. In addition, there are 20 antiseptic cleaning wipes and 20 alcohol pads. Okay, in the next compartment, we have 100 adhesive bandages in a variety of sizes, including butterfly bandages, one mouth-to-mouth -mouth mask, 50 cotton balls, two pairs of PVC gloves, scissors, 40 cotton swabs, tweezers, 10 safety pins, a whistle, one survival blanket, and one triangular bandage. Okay, in the third department, we have two PBT bandages, two large first aid bandages, two crepe bandages, one elastic bandage, a pad of paper and a pencil, one instant cold compress, three tongue depressors, and a first aid guide. All in all, I think this is a nice basic first aid kit. However, there are some things I would like to add that I think could be beneficial. I wanted to include some pain relievers such as Excedrin, Tylenol, and Advil. I also included some Imodium and Benadryl. I took them out of the boxes and just included the back directions to cut down on the bulk. I also included some antibiotic ointment, hydrocortisone cream, and some Bactine. I wanted some extra hand wipes and some hand sanitizer. Here we have eye drops, chapstick, face masks, first aid tape, quick clot, an extra baggie, a small flashlight, and a tourniquet. So I'm adding a lot of extra bulk to the kit, but I really do want all of these items included. So next, I will show you what I'm removing and tell you why. I'm going to remove about half of the cotton balls and half of some of the other items, such as the sterile eye pads, the gauze dressing pads, the non-adherent sterile pads, and a couple of the other bandages. Not because I don't think they're important, but rather I do think that there were probably too many and they weren't needed all in this particular kit. I'm going to use these to create another kit that is basically identical to this one in a different package. By removing some of these excessive items, that gives me plenty of room in the current bag for everything that I really want. I hope you'll find this video helpful when you're putting together your first aid kit for your own personal needs. I would also like to hear any of your suggestions. What would you include? What would you remove? What am I missing? Please leave your suggestions in the comments below. Thanks for watching and have a great day.